Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a local Colorado piece about water quality. Community is upset over water quality in Quebec, Colorado, like Quebec. It's a French uh, named town, Debec, and the water in the town is polluted, like many other towns across the nation. And we're just taking a cue from Flint, Michigan about government overreach and the fact that our wind, air, and water is absolutely disgusting. Now, Grand Junction, Colorado. Now, before we get started, real quick, I'll bring you over here to the wiki. If you don't know where Debec is, it's in the western border in Mesa County of Colorado here, near Grand Junction. So that's the position there. This is the uh, banana belt, the heartland of Colorado as far as growing peaches and other crops. So there's Debec and their water is polluted. Residents in Debec received a notice informing them that there was an unhealthy amount of trihalomethanes in their water, which was in violation of the drinking water requirements. They started flushing hydrants and everything they could operationally to try to reduce the trihalomethanes inside the bottles. Many members of the community were upset because they felt like they should have been told sooner. In fact, once this community in Debec knew about the trihalomethanes, it, it took days before they warned the public. And Taylor said, well, I kind of told them it was a non-emergency according to what we got in the violation. In the date notice, we had until October 11th to get it reported. So this is more bureaucracy allowing a lag time between poisonous water going to citizens and them warning you. And this is the problem with government. Taylor said he understands why many people are upset, but unless this becomes a recurring problem, so it has to recur. Poisonous water in your community has to recur several times until it becomes an issue. And that's what happened in Flint. And that's why many of the children there are suffering from cognitive diminution because of the lead they were drinking. Now, according to this idiot, the water is safe to drink at this point. Now, how would anyone believe the bureaucracy at this time to believe that? Many of the people in the town of Debec are not taking that risk. And I wouldn't. I would hope that I had my own well at this point. LaRue said he was not even given his dogs the water. I wouldn't either. <laughs> he also said the water smells like eggs. Oh, yeah, but it's safe. Now, let's... Some of the residents said that they're upset because they feel like they're not being told what's really going on. Well, welcome to America, Debec. Dry halo methanes and water safety have been in the news in recent months, and I just showed you the headlines. What are they? Well, trihalomethanes are a group of chemicals like chloroform and bromodichloromethane and dibromochloromethane and bromoform, along with other disinfection byproducts. So this is disinfection, maybe of Water, in fact, it is in this case. The community was l using chlorine to disinfect the water. When chlorine and other disinfectants used to control microbial contaminants in drinking water react with naturally occurring methane, because maybe you're getting your drinking water by a fracking site, or maybe there's some frack wells that have called, caused methane to get in your groundwater, which is happening in this region, often derived from by other forms of organic and inorganic matter in water. So the trihalomethanes are caused by the disinfection of water for communities. Now, if you're drawing your water from a source where you're also fracking and you've contaminated the groundwater, well, then you're going to make trihalomethanes. And they're not good. They're dangerous. Well, how dangerous are they? High levels of trihalomethanes can be dangerous. In fact, in December 20, 
2000, the US EPA lowered the maximum allowable annual average for large surface water public water systems from 100 parts per billion to 80 parts per billion. So the data's in, it's bad, and they lowered the limit. Now the 80 parts per billion limit goes into effect on small surface water and groundwater systems as of 2003, which is why this community in Quebec is raising the alarm because they are way above this limit. Now, what type of problems can occur? Well, hello. Some studies suggest a small increase in the amount of bladder and colorectal cancers. Other investigations have found chlorinated byproducts may be linked to heart, lung, kidney, liver, and central nervous system damage, which basically covers the whole body. Different trihalomethanes, dibromochloromethane, has been closely associated with cancer followed in order by bromoform chloroform and bromodichloromethane. Pregnant women appear to be in, at the greatest risk. And some studies have linked trihalomethanes to reproductive problems, including miscarriage. So, do not drink the water. If you're in Quebec, where were we? And that's a boom. Yeah, it is. I don't even know what the headline was, but you'll see it tomorrow. So, try. Halo, methanes, now in Debec, Colorado, in the water system, and they are saying, well, don't worry about it. But many of the residents won't even feed it to their animals. I wouldn't. Would you? Now, this is coming directly from the community that is charging you for the water. We're not on city water here. We, we dig our own wells. We filter our own water and we know exactly what we're drinking. But the majority, 95% of the population gets city water. They, they open that tap, they cook their food in it, and they trust the government. I could tell you one thing. Trusting the government is the dumbest thing you could ever do. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Do you have three sources of water if the grid goes down? I doubt it. Maybe you should rethink how you're living because D-Day is coming soon. Do you want to be a survivor and thriver or do you want to be a casualty? I can assure you that trihalomethanes will be on the increase in the coming times. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Click on one of the boxes illuminating to gain more knowledge.